Hi everyone, I'm Janelle with Tunes Unlimited and I thought I would give a couple of tips on working with the new G3 characters with the um, the elastic motions. So um, some people may find this a little overwhelming but when you have these thick yellow lines it can kind of be somewhat busy in the sense that you're trying to animate and you're you're trying to look past all of these thick lines but what you can do you can modify the size so that it's more um, easier to manage with and we can do that by going into the composer mode and up here where the size is at instead of having it at 70 you can have it something like for example 20 and if you wanted to change the color you could do so here I actually prefer to keep it yellow um, to me it's a it's a color that um, is easy to work with so I'm gonna leave that alone but when you now go back into your your motion editor you can see now that your lines are much more slimmer and you see more of the character versus more of um, your bones so depending on sometimes you you need that thickness to animate you need to be able to see things and then sometimes it's more um, distracting than it is helpful and this is one way that you can minimize the 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 ease and be able to animate a little bit better so in this case, I'll, I'll give another tip, um, just in case you're not familiar with it. If I want this character to kind of sit back in, here in the chair, and what I'll do is just first get him in a position where he's in between the, the front of the, the chair and then the actual chair itself. Now to get him in a seated position now that he's on the Z axis correctly, you just can't go into the motion editor and say sit down. It's not gonna understand what you're trying to do. So what you would need to do is lock certain body parts. For example, we're gonna lock the lower half. And we're gonna lock the feet. And now when I go back to his hip area, because these are locked, it now knows, okay, to, to bend with it. So now I can work on getting this guy first in a seated position. And then um, let's slide him back to where we want. So now he's in a nice, good seated position. We then just have to deal with getting his legs and his arms and to kind of get him seated back and relaxed but he's in the spot that we want him at so I can then turn around and move his legs and stuff as I need to and if you have um, the IK constraints off you can actually make it go in and out as needed as well to make this look as natural as possible. So I'm going to try to get him in a nice um, seated position that looks natural to me. I swear these bones don't always want to work with you.
And he is actually way too big for, um, I won't say way too big, but he's a little too big for this chair. So, you know, we can shrink him in some. But as you can see, you know, you can definitely get him to be relaxed, sit in the chair and the rigging is a little easier than if you have the big bulky lines of course if that size is not doing it for you you can always make the adjustments by going back into the composer mode and um just modifying it to 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 the best of your needs but this is an easier way to work with your animation um without less distractions so hopefully these tips you know help and allow you to get more from it and uh, take care thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week if you would like to purchase my product head over to my store for characters props and scenes if you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.